guys and welcome back to another episode of Simon Family Farms. If you remember in a previous episode we've done some contracts, fertilizing and a planting contract and we did get some cows. We have a look here, we've got 12 Holstein cows. So I'm obviously gonna have to wait for another year to get some milk but as a start isn't it? Another thing is I've mentioned that I'm gonna use this shed for like the bags of fertilizer and stuff but instead of the, I've decided to use it for bales I'm gonna keep my hay bales on this side and maybe straw bales on that side and then maybe silage here I'll, I'll have a good think about it but for now well that's the plan uh, the problem is I've not got access to this I have actually tried editing it myself on the Giants editor to remove the gate and I did remove it but somehow I didn't manage to save it properly so it's still here. If anyone does know how to do it please let me know. If not I'm gonna do some research and try to remove that door for the next video. Other than that let's see what we've got. Um, our field 9 and 10 growing so probably in another couple of days or so we'll be able to harvest one of our fields. Let's have a look here. Uh, yeah it looks like Maybe two days, two, three days for the sunflower. Uh, more like three days for the sunflower. And maybe a couple of days or three days for the corn as well. So in the meantime, what I'm thinking to do is probably get some fertilizing contracts done again to make a bit more money and to get more cow. So I've accepted one of the contracts already. It's fertilizing contract on field 18 which is over here is the big field so I'm probably gonna have to do it myself instead of saying on the worker because of all these separations in the middle of a field like water canals or whatever you call it I don't I don't really know what's the reason for them in the in the America you do see that on quite a few American maps especially here on the field 35 it's possible there's a creek or something but it does look like just a path but yeah Anyway, let's crack on with it. If we jump into our case, which we've used in the last episode, well, more of a live stream than episode, but let's give it a, go a clean because it's absolutely disgusting. Even though it's about to get dirty again, might as well just keep our equipment as clean as we can. Get that karcher used. Yeah, another thing as I was saying, where I'm gonna tidy up the yard, I had like bags and pallets laying all over the place, so I've kind of piled them all up here, I'll let you see. Uh, I've got my seeds here, fertilizer, and then lime, because I don't really like having messy yard. Also, I've put some of the implements planter and plow in this shed. Yeah, so I'll just drive up to field 18 and do that contract and see what we come up with after that. Maybe we're gonna go get some more cows. Right, I'll do for now. Jump in a tractor and off we go, put the gears in. Right, what's the best way to get to field 18? If we go down here, probably go all the way down to the main farm and then just go up the V path or another. Yeah, that'll probably be the best way to go instead of driving over the fields. Right, I'll see you on the field. And that's us almost back at the field. I really do like this farm. I know I keep saying that in every single video, but if I was a farmer, that would probably be my dream farm. Just amazing. I really like how this map looks in the summer. Uh, all the fields are nice and like green. It's really nice and co colorful. Well, it's not quite colorful. It's nice and green. But yeah, it is a stunning map and stunning views. And I've taken the wrong turn by the looks of it, that's just typical hoddy for you. Okay, that's the wee path. I really like the rolling hills, like it just makes it look so realistic. Like odd tree here and there. Brilliant map. Absolutely brilliant. Hey, by the looks of it, we're here, so what's the best way to start? Probably, hey, let's just bring the map up. Yeah, so, it's not too bad, it just looks bad, but, yeah, let's probably start from this side, and then, 
Let's see how we get on. Gonna do your headland and then probably gonna use GPS. I'll make it easy, I'm not gonna be overlapping and stuff, so probably a good idea to put GPS now. Spread it and it's the wrong way around. Yeah, I might have to just set up a new course because it looks like the shape of these fields is a a bit different to the ones I've got, so doesn't look like I'll be able to use this um, setup setting even. I'll just save as a field 18 and auto of F. That's us. Well, a bit more to the right. Right, that will do. Perfecto. Oh man, look at that view. Okay, so that's the uh, headland almost finished. I'm probably just gonna do a few cuts instead of doing another time lapse. I'd like to get quite a bit done in this episode instead of having long time lapses. So I'll probably just see you guys when I'm done with this field. That's us pretty much finished with our first contract. Yeah, that's us done. Okay, so let's have a look what else we've got. I collect that, that's $25,000. We've got field 11, field 16 and field 24. Which are paying quite well. We'll probably do field 11 first. Let's have a look, that's right next to our farm as well. Yeah, let's start with that. I'll probably do a wee bit on it and then say on the worker. In that case I can maybe start working on my cows. Uh, maybe look into getting more cows because we've got 42,000, almost 43,000 dollars now. It'd probably be a good idea to actually buy a feed mixer even though we've not got any silage at the moment. Uh, it's good to be ready for it. I'm also thinking to maybe chop some of my corn to make it into the silage would kind of make sense especially if I'm wanting to run a big operation you know big cattle operation we'll look into um, we'll see how much the harvester is and maybe I don't, I don't really want to use the same one that I'm using on the rusty acres because it's tiny and it's gonna take about three years for me to do that field so that's out the question unless Unless if I just want to do a small portion of it, in that case it would be fine, like just to get a wee bit of silage. Uh, ideally I'd like to do maybe half half a field for silage, half a field for corn. Well, I can tell, we'll see what we can lease maybe, maybe we can just get like a cheap harvester for lease. One day is that uh, taking us into the cattle pen, yes it is, that's not what we want. I'll just drive around this way. Okay, I'm just gonna crack on, go to the field 11, and I'll see you guys there. Hey, that's us on the field 11, uh, just doing our contract, let's sort the uh, GPS out. Hey, right, that's our second fertilizing contract. As you can see this is a cornfield and it has got this plant the texture. I don't know if you guys seen the live stream, but just before the live stream I've actually 
updated the textures. So you know if a corn, sunflower, or soybean is gonna have the planter texture instead of having the seed texture. Another thing is like the actual coloring of the it looks much nicer as well instead of a standard in game one. If you do wanna know how to do it, I'm gonna put a link in the description which will take you to Argzy's gaming video. He goes through uh, in quite a lot of detail, so yeah, just watch this tutorial and you can add that to your own save game. Uh, some of the maps are a bit more difficult, some of the maps are easier. It, it all depends on the map creator where the files are located, but Argzy goes through in quite a lot of detail, so you shouldn't have any problems. And yeah, let's crack on with it, and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so we're almost done with the second contract. If we have a look again, 96%. Which is a bit interesting because we are pretty much done here. So I don't know if we're going to get the remaining percentage from this. And it looks like we didn't. So let's see if we've missed anything. I think there's a wee bit on this side here. But I've missed, let's see how many percent. 99 a oh, nice one. <laughs> Didn't even have to do anything and decided to complete the contract itself. But right, let's collect that. And I'm just gonna clear and get some new ones. Field 6. That does actually feel like cheating now, but might as well just do this one more contract. I'm sure I've done Field 6 on the live stream, but it does need a second stage of fertilizing by the looks of us so I might as well take the money still got two and a half thousand liters of fertilizer it's crazy how little it's actually using I think it's to do with precision farming once again it feels like cheating but we need money especially if you want to run a big cattle operation we will need a lot of money I was having a look at some of the feed mixers there's one modded one I've got like a big one I think it's 45,000 liter capacity is like $145,000 or something like that so yeah we'll have to do quite a few contracts to afford that and another thing I need is forage harvester to get a corn chopped which isn't cheap as well but we'll look into that eventually I'll set this contract on a worker and then you're gonna have a look around the shop to see what we can afford and what you should start saving for first I'll definitely need a baler because uh, I'm gonna be having some corn stalks from the field so I'm gonna have to bale that for our cows for bedding another thing I'm going to need is probably a see the thing is I don't know what to do with straw I might just get a forage wagon and pick it all up and then maybe get a silo and store it all in. Right, that's the field six I think. I'm not paying attention once again. Is it? Yeah, that's us here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna run down the bottom of the field once so the worker doesn't crash into the trees and stuff. And then after that, yeah, just... Oh, actually what I can do is just set up for... Set up on the course play. I mean to do that. Right, field six, headland around. Let's do two. Current vehicle position, longest edge. 36 meters, generator course. And it's taking a minute. There we go. Not too bad. Right. Oh, damn thing. 
really got to work on my key bindings because like GPS and gear changing is on the same button and I've got like beacons and also GPS on the same button which I'm gonna have to look into and get it sorted so it doesn't interfere with each other okay we can leave us here Right, let's actually look at the store for now. Um, so the first thing we're going to look at is the forage harvester. I don't want to use this because as I said the head is just too small. Forage headers. Right, so that's something like 4 meter. I don't want to be playing around with a 4 meter on a bigger fields. It's okay for the other series because the field's quite small. But on a bigger American map, I really don't want to be wasting my time with it. Um, we can do maybe one of those John Deere ones, 9 meter. So it would cost us 6,000 per Lisa and then another 2,500 per day per hour. So it's not too bad. Get the wrong harvesters. That's the John Deere. Right, that's 18 and a half thousand. It's not cheap, but I do feel like it might be worth uh, got anything a bit cheaper. I've got this class one, class Jaguar 900, which is 11, 12,000. Yeah, I'll probably just go with this class and then let's see the headers for it. Uh, I guess that's the one. So we've got 9 meter, we've got 7.5. Uh, I'll probably just go for the 9 meter one. Hopefully I'll pull it, I'll push it even. That's 7,000. So yeah, Laz Harvester plus the head, that works out cheaper than the John Deere Harvester alone. Then another thing we've got to look at is Baylor. Is our baling technology? Of have got this cheap modded ones which I'm probably gonna use for now and then eventually we can just upgrade into something else. Let's change it to Ace. Right, 6200. Can't complain. Another thing we need is a feed mixer. Let's have a look at the feed mixers, animals, where are we? Right, so we've got this 53,000 and it's only 16,000 liters. Second option is 45,000 litres and 141,000. If we went for a second hand, I don't really care about options, wheels and stuff. Maybe at some point later, but at the minute, all the standards will do. And second hand would cost us 95,000. So after this contract, we're going to have around 90, just under 90,000. So soon enough, we can actually afford one second hand one. What I'll do now is jump into our case tractor, which should be somewhere here, and take a drive to the store area, pick up the baler. Where are we? And there you go. Right, I'm just gonna drop the. It looks funny with this front loader. I should probably get a smaller one for this tractor, this FZ. 60 I should go for the 31 because yeah the tractor's way too small for it. I lower it, drop it, reverse. Put the beacon on since we're gonna be going on the main road. Well public road even. Let's do some first person we do like the old stuff in the tractor like old detail. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. But, all right, take a left.
that's the baler back at the farm. Just probably gonna start it in a shed over here since it's not being used at the moment. Probably a big, good idea to put some bales in it once you've got more. But then again, ideally, I'd like to get rid of that door. So it would be a perfect location for bales. I've actually looked inside the, inside the barn on the Giants editor and it does look like pretty cool, a lot of space. So it would be ideal location for our bales. As I said, if you guys know how to get it done, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to do my own research and then eventually get it sorted. I was going to message MRG about it, but I'm quite sure quite a few people have already messaged him. So I don't want to bother the guy. He's quite busy as it is. And as far as I'm aware, he said he wasn't going to do any more updates to this particular map. So even if I do report there, uh, it doesn't mean he's going to get it fixed. Right, what we're gonna do now is jump into our pickup and get some more cows. Oh yeah. Well excited. Really looking forward to start selling some milk. But the gears are off again. Switched it off when I was tidying, it, tidying the yard up because I was basically using keyboard to steer so just going to be bothered with it. Sorry guys, this episode's quite a bit of driving, but something you gotta do. Fertilizing and driving, pretty much same as the previous episode of the live stream. Another thing what I was thinking is to get rid of this building here. As it's just for the decoration and maybe pl place a BGA instead of it because this map's not got a biogas plant and then if you do a lot of corn and cho chop it for maize and like chop it for silage we could use the BGA to actually sell some of the silage I'm not quite sure if that's something you do in America so if um, any of you American guys would like to let me know if that's something you do if you got biogas plants I guess you do but yeah, I've not seen them on any of MRG maps, so I'm just thinking to maybe add my own one. There's plenty of placeable ones. Yeah, let me let me guys know what you think about that. Also, if you don't mind, please hit the like and subscribe. I was having a look at the analytics of the channel, and it looks like under around 30% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So it would be nice to get more subscribers. Would really appreciate that. Would help my channel to grow. Would give me more motivation to work on it as well. Not like I'm not gonna work on it if I don't get subscribers. I do this just because I enjoy it. But yeah, new subscribers are always a good thing. I'm just gonna go to the animal dealer and then deal with that tractor on the field six. This farm's quite nice as well, it's quite big. Should have probably started on it, but... I thought it's a bit nicer to go into the other side of the map, since I like the... I like the sh shapes of the fields. Right, is that the one? Can't remember. Uh, no. Animal dealer is right there. cool to see so many different farms on the same map. It would be nice if it was a 4x map, it would be ideal for multiplayer. I'll just leave us here and I'm gonna deal with a tractor on a field 6. Okay so that's us, got another $31,000, well just under a Got 88,000, so if you want to give a forage harvester, I should probably do another contract. 
But I'll either do it off camera or maybe I'll leave it for another episode. Let's leave a tractor here for a minute. But bump it out again. Right, let's jump back into our pickup and get some more cows. Oh man, it's been a while since I've done the live stream. I can't remember where, where the trigger is. I think it was on this side. But let's put that back on. <laughs> Failing once again. Right, let's just pay attention to the info. Oh yeah, I was. Th I think it was over here. Yep. Right, let's get. Uh, get something different. I'll probably get some of these. Uh, just a single load. Oh yes, looking good. I'll see you guys back at the farm. Okay, so that's another load of cows. Six airshare cows. I don't think I'm going to be getting any more of these, so I'll just stick to Holstein. I thought it would be nice to get some airshares to have a bit of a variety in color, maybe. They're not as productive as the Holsteins, but it does look nice having a couple of different feeds. Yeah, so I think I'll just leave that for now. Uh, I'm not going to be getting any more cows at the minute. I'll probably just wait until I harvest my corn. And I want to save that money for getting machinery, like the feed mixer. The feed mixer is probably my priority. Feed mixer and the forage harvester. The forage harvester is going to have to be leased. If you guys let me know what you think I should do with a cornfield, should I just chop it all for silage? Or should I maybe do a half of a field for silage and harvest the other half as a crop? I'm definitely gonna have to chop some of it because I'll be needing silage for my cows. I don't wanna like keep them on hay only. Uh, another thing is I'll need some straw. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I can use corn stalks for the TMR, probably not. I'll probably have to maybe do one of those contracts, uh, one of the harvesting contracts. I can see there's a lot of oat planted on a map, so once that's ready to harvest, I might just do a contract on one of the smaller fields and I've got the mod which allows me to collect the straw at the missions so in that case I could just harvest and then build the straw and keep it for the feed for the cows but if I'm able to feed them corn stalks that should kind of solve the problem so I wouldn't have to actually go and harvest any oat but if we're not allowed to use the corn stalks for feed and only if we can only use it for the bedding then in that case I'll have to do one of those contracts. But yeah, uh, let's jump into our small international and check in a couple of bales. Since probably, yeah, we need a couple of bales since I've added another six cows. So let's just do that now. This is probably going to be a bit challenging turning around on this. Well, it's not too bad actually. Alright. I probably should get a bale spike as well because using a pallet fork isn't really realistic but it'll do for now. I don't want to be wasting money on something I don't have to. I'm thinking to maybe get one of the skid steers like uh, maybe New Holland one or maybe I'll have a look for a bobcat or something for a modded bobcat that would be quite nice I feel like it would go well with a farm. Especially for these like smaller sheds and uh, it's not ideal having to fit a tractor into it. And then if I get that door removed on the main barn. Then in that case I could just use a bobcat there as well. Would be ideal. Right, let's pick that up. There's the feed troughs on the other side. Let's just reverse. I'll save us turning around. Not a big fan of this cow pasture, I just feel like it's animal cruelty having them all in such a small space. Alright, let's see if, yeah, we we'll have to add another one, but let's just top up the water up. Also, if you guys let me know what do you think of the video quality, I've 
done some changes to the way I'm rendering the video so I kind of feel like the quality should be a wee bit better. Please let me know if you can notice the difference. Hey, another bail. Another thing I was thinking about maybe uh, maybe start doing a time lapse series just like maybe one episode a day uh, I'm waiting on the American Life Fireman coming out once that's out I was thinking maybe do like a time lapse series on it but just one episode a day as I was saying let me, let me guys know what you think if I should maybe do that or not or should I just focus on my survival challenge at the minute and these current two series I've got? Alright, let's put that under the cover, just in case if it rains or anything like that. I don't want to get getting wet and then rot. I'll probably just leave the tractor here as well with a bale because I'm going to have to feed the cows at some point soon anyway, so it's a good idea to keep this tractor on here. See if I go a little bobcat, it would be ideal starting under this under this little roof. And then if I've got all the bales stored in here, I could just use that to feed the cows and not use it for anything else. All right, looking good. Uh, Sixty-eight percent health, which isn't ideal. But then again, we need TMR to improve on that, and then ideally get some corn stalks for the bedding. Okay, don't forget to subscribe and like, it really does help, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you very much for watching, bye now.